It's just insane. This is just insane. There he is, got him. Got him. That's not looking good right there, y'all. Look at that, that's a, a massive front coming through. This is what is sometimes difficult about what I do. This front is supposed to blow 40 miles an hour, bring 10 foot seas, and so I can't film in those conditions, and so I'm, it's out of the question for several days if I don't get a video today. Whew. I can already feel it. I feel the wind <laughs> is gassing right now. I'm in the parking lot of Navarre Beach Fishing Pier. It's finally daylight, and they finally opened the pier. It was, they opened the pier late this morning, so let's go out here and see what's happening. I know this is nuts, but I only brought one rod. And the reason why is because we have such a short window to fish that I'm just going to go out here to the end and throw spoons. We probably only have about one hour, 45 minutes maybe, until this massive front hits. So This is kind of like the calm before the storm. You can't tell from up here, but it's, it's getting really rough but it's still not that bad out here at the moment and the water is real clear which is good oh somebody just hooked up down there there's a few fish being caught it looks like go out here and throw all right first cast let's see if we can get on one just chunking these spoons and winding them you got a chance to catch tuna bonita whatever this time of year There's a fish. Oh, we came off that gummit. Whoo, man, this is wild. It is a blitz out here, and you got a chance to catch a blackfin tuna in these bonitas, so we're gonna keep after it. There we go. There we go. There's a fish. Oh my god, dude. Gotta be kidding. There we go. Got him back on. Back on. There we go. Let's keep one on this time, my God. Let's keep one hooked up. God, these things are fighting, holy cow. <clears throat> the calm before the storm right here, but it ain't that calm. <laughs> Come on, come on. There we go. Got him. Come on. Check it out, y'all. Nice bonita from the Gulf Pier. I'm going to keep him. We're gonna take him home and eat him, all right? But first, we're gonna go catch some more. Definitely an insane blitz out here. Fred's here and everything. Hey, what's up, Fred? That is wild out here. There's another one, there's another one. It is an absolute blitz out here, y'all. It's fun when it gets like this. Another bonita, man. These are one of the hardest fighting fish on the pier. Such a cool.
cool catch. I absolutely love catching these. I know a lot of you are going to be asking when I ate this bonita, eat this bonita in this video today, did you bleed it? And I absolutely did. You got to bleed them. It is crazy town out here though. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Come on. Come this way. Oh, this is insane. <clears throat> this is absolutely crazy. Come underneath you here. Guys, this is absolutely insanity out here right now, this blitz. It's like these fish know there's a major front coming through and they are getting after. It's every cast, man. It is so wild. What's up, Fred? as fast as you can catch them out here it is wild <laughs> and just so y'all know i'm throwing this es casting lure right here it's my favorite casting lure home up here i just want y'all to watch this I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you guys every literally everybody on the pier is hooked up I do apologize for the wind noise out here while I'm fishing. I know that it is, uh, it's pretty rough, but hey, at least we're hammering them. There he is, got him. Got him. All right, come here. Crazy town. Uh, come here. What's that? You want it? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's all you. He's all you. There you go. A lot of you guys have been asking where I get my pier rods from. Now, when you pier fish, you need a custom made pier rod. This guy right here made mine, that's Hayes. Uh, if you want a custom made pier rod, just like I'm using right here, I will link his information in the description. Give him a call and uh, maybe he can hook you up with yep. one. Yep. So. You guys get with me, I can make anything you want. Sounds good, y'all heard that, all right. It's just insane. This is just insane. There we go again. There we go again. Got him again. This is just as crazy of a blitz as you'll see out here. Come here. Thank you. There you go, you want them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Here you go. Appreciate it. I gotta take a rest for a second. Like a dog, man. That'll wear you out right there. That's some surfable waves coming in too. All right, Fred, take it easy, buddy. Oh, hey, oh, yeah, summer. I am out of here. The rain is literally just now starting. And so I, I got that done in 30 minutes. Like, I cannot believe it. How do you guys like, oh, the fish are already wet. You can fish in the rain. But here's the thing. You can't film in the rain. Filming in the rain is very difficult because you'll get your screen messed up, get your cameras messed up, your audio recorders, and everything like that. One reason I love this pier is because that condo right there on the very first floor where my finger's at. We owned a unit there growing up as a kid. And so 
I was always on this pier from the time I was seven years old till uh, you know college. A lot of memories out here. A lot of these guys don't know me now just because they're younger than me. But uh, I spent my whole life out here. You know. We just got to the house, folks, and we are going to cook up this bonita. Now, a bonita can be controversial for several reasons. One. They're considered a trash fish over here on the east coast of the United States. However, if you go to the west coast of the country, they are on, literally on every restaurant menu. So is it one of those fish that in one area people think are good and another people think suck? Probably, it sounds like it. They're also controversial because of the name, all right? Over here on the east coast, we call them bonita. Other places they call them false albacore. Other places they call them little toonie. What are these suckers? They're kind of a unique fish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clean them up. That is definitely darker than a black fin tuna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the same thing that I would do if I were cooking a black fin tuna. I'm gonna marinate it in some olive oil and some soy sauce for a little while. All right, it's been about an hour. Let's season these guys up with a little salt and pepper. Again, this is just a taste test. Just because this fish gets so frowned upon. I've had it before, but it's been a while, so we are gonna try it again. So, the funny part is, is how much darker this bonita is than the black fin tuna. A lot of you guys will probably say this is gross. Probably not wrong, but I've always liked to do unique stuff on the channel. First of all, Let's just take a look at what it looks like when you cut it open. That's what it looks like inside. You wanna leave tuna rare on the inside, just like that, see? So, looking okay. Does not look near as appetizing as the black fin that I cooked the other day, but you know what? That's okay. This is just a taste test, all right? I'm not making a meal out of this. We actually, I used, I've got the rest of him in a freezer that I'm gonna use for shark bait. So my bonitas never go to waste, all right? So this is just one side of him cooked for a taste test. That's it. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna start with just a small piece right here. Couple notes on the bonita. Number one, not nearly as good as the black fin, but it's very edible. It was not as fishy as I thought it was gonna be. I can't think I remember, I think I remember it being fishy. Was not that bad. Uh, so, is it edible? Yeah. Is it my favorite fish in the world? No, I really like tuna. And if you were to serve me that at a restaurant, I would think that it's probably black fin tuna or something like that. Is it worth keeping them and eating them? It's up to you. Comment below, I'd love to hear your opinion. Have you ever eaten bonita before? How do you prepare it? Uh, what do you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts below because it is an interesting fish. If you enjoyed that video, shoot me a thumbs up. Everything I'm involved with linked in my description below. I'm a licensed real estate agent right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. If you're looking to buy or sell a house, hit me up. Other than that, we'll catch you next time.